It had been speeding ahead, but Germany's industrial output has just hit the brakes. Data for May shows a drop of 1.3%, the steepest monthly fall since August 2014. And it came just a day after flat May industrial orders. The economy ministry blamed too many public holidays and the emerging market slowdown. Either way, some now see growth more than halving in the second quarter to 0.3%. First and foremost, Germany doesn't have Russia as his pal anymore. Secondly, the level of business that China was doing four years ago, which Germany was the top exporter to China, has dropped. The surveys were conducted before the Brexit vote, and the shock from that is expected to hurt Germany too. Industry body DIHK expects a 1% drop in exports to the UK this year, down from a previous 5% rise, with a 5% fall in 2017. And that's not all. In its poll of 5,600 firms, one in four was planning to cut jobs in their British units. The business done within the European Union, manufacturing output has dropped quite significantly, and trade has dropped significantly on a global basis. So Germany is just reflective of what's going on around the world. It's still a very strong country. As for the UK itself, industrial output expanded at 1.9% during the three months to May, the fastest pace in six years. Few will be cheering, though, after the collapse of sterling following the Brexit vote. The low pound also means, on Reuters calculations, that France has overtaken the UK as the world's fifth largest economy.